even if, when you're playing at the World Championship match, yeah, uh, and uh, even if it was a draw or just like a normal result, mm -hmm. it's still better just to forget about it and move forward. I think you end up doing it because um, uh, your focus shifts to the next game and so on, you, and you keep moving along. Yeah, but some of the moments they are still staying in your head. So how to get rid of them, especially if there are like bad moments. For example, a young was in a very difficult uh, situation. He lost the game, and also it was a very tough game, very long one. So how to forget about these games? I don't think it's in your control. Um, you either forget it or put it aside to the best, uh, the best of your ability, but uh, it doesn't let you. I think you cannot. You know, you know, the whole night your head will keep playing. The that's game over and over. That's what sometimes happening to me if there is some really important game, and mm -hmm. especially if it ended uh, not the way I wanted to. Sometimes, okay, you go to bed uh, and uh, you wake up in the middle of the night, and in front of yourself you see this position where you made a mistake, and it's like a nightmare. It's worse than a nightmare. Uh, I know. And you can't fall asleep, and then you stay with this position, like in this Queen's Gambit movie, and you are watching, and like, okay, how could I play this? How did I see that? Uh, why did I do this or that? Uh, and it's just like sometimes until the very morning, and then okay, uh, you didn't sleep well, and you have to play another game again, so it's quite difficult. Yes, uh, I mean the painful m moments, especially. Uh, I don't even. It's they're too painful to go and study, even after many years. Some of the defeats, I cannot bear to look at, because the problem is when I look at the game, I remember how bad I felt, mm -hmm. and it's too. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be a world championship. There are also the painful moments when I look at the game, I feel uncomfortable, and you want to stop looking. So that is a, a bit of a problem. So it is a good idea to uh, uh, look at your games and learn from them, if you can. If you can. <laughs> if it's too painful, then well, you take your pick. On the other hand, uh, well, especially when you're, let's say, uh, on the starting level, I think you have to go through it, because otherwise you'll keep on making the same mistakes, uh, and it will never end. Yes, uh, but what you can do is look at only the thing that uh, bothered you. You don't have to look at the whole game, necessarily. But if you failed at one moment or something could be done better, then you might just take that example out and look at it. So yeah, but there are maybe a lot of other moments, uh, very uh, like very instructive ones. So you can That's what I said. You look at the instructive bits and uh, yeah. But just imagine you are, let's say, fifteen hundred player. I mean, uh, just like that. You play some game, some classical game, better because uh, you can actually analyze something out of it. If you play this game, well, you play something, you blunder, and, and that's how it ends, or you won because of the blunder usually. And uh, well, you play the classical game, you come back. And uh, let's say you don't have a trainer who will point out all the most important things. So you will go through the whole game. You will not just uh, check one of the moments where you think that you made a mistake. Yes, no, but I thought you were asking me, uh, do I look at the uh, games? You know, actually, I think Kasparov uh, used to do it because he, he motivated himself by writing books about the <laughs> matches. And then he was forced to look at great depth. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, I simply think uh, uh, the painful bits you don't want to relive. Well, maybe that's me. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, you I, I, I study a lot of my games. It's just not necessarily I want to sit and focus only on the match. Uh, but if there was something that I feel I can learn from, I might return to that. But um, I don't think I ever sat and thought about uh, a match for very long. I mean, my 95 match, I don't remember at all. So uh, with Kaspar. Yeah, I basically just forgot about it. So <laughs> okay, it was played quite long ago. That is true, but I, I think I forgot about it quite quickly even then. <laughs> so.